I will not allow this limitation. I refuse to accommodate the limitations. I want to take this gospel further. I want to take this gospel further. And when it comes to money, you must lose value for figures. You've not heard me yet. You soon hear me. Listen, money does not exist. It only exists in the mind of the poor. As long as money exists in your mind, it will hold you in bondage. Don't forget this. Money exists in the mind of the poor. There's a guy who was on TV yesterday or today, I don't know, but I saw him. And, and he said, in India, I think, I, I, think, I think that's what they said, um, who, who asked to, to, to get a, they should make a shirt of gold for him. A shirt of complete gold. All right. And he, he said it's $250,000 for the shirt. Now, there are people who will say, what's wrong with that guy? He's foolish. He's stupid. Oh, ah. They can say all kinds of things about him. But he doesn't care. You know why? $250,000 doesn't mean so much to him. He said he has 30 or 40 bodyguards going around with him. He's got to pay them. 30 or 40. That means $250,000 doesn't mean so much to him. He said, well, he should help the poor. He's probably helping a lot of poor people than you might even think of. Yes. But, but look what he's done with that. $250,000 for a shirt. You may not like it, but don't criticize him. Leave him alone. The reason anybody, the reason anybody would talk bad about him is because that person doesn't have that money. Those who have more than that amount, they will say, what's $250,000? That's a quarter of a million. That's not too much. That's not a lot of money. And so they're not going to criticize him. But the poor will not let him rest. Oh, yeah. oh. They'll be angry with him. Money exists in the mind of the poor. It is the rich man's way of limiting others. You see it? Don't let figures hold you in bondage. Go above them. Go above them. Years ago, God said to me, son, live on the mountain. He said, see from the mountain. And I live on the mountain. And I see from there. And when I look, wow, the world looks small. Praise God. Tonight when you pray, I tell you what, when you pray, you say, Lord, I am seeing. I'll tell you how to see tomorrow. Very important. I am seeing. You say, Lord, I'm seeing a new vision. I'm seeing a new way to help the world. I'm seeing a new way to bring others out of darkness. I'm seeing a new way. Glory to God. You see, I'm seeing a new way. Look at all the devices we're holding. These things cost money, right? Those who did them made them with money, right? There's a big company that does this. The poor can't do that. Say, I refuse to be poor. <laughs> now listen, what about, you might say to me, but, but Pastor Chris, what if, what if you're poor and you love God and you're a Christian? Let me tell you what, there is no poor Christian. There's none. You only have either an ignorant Christian who thinks he's poor and therefore does not have or you have a Christian who chose not to have. Because there are those who chose not to have and there's nothing wrong with it. 
No, it's true. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you can choose not to have a car, not to have a house, not to have more than one shirt and a pair of pants. You can make that choice. You can choose to eat one meal per day. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I, I eat twice a day when I do. Not three times. Why? Because the Bible says he gave them food morning and evening. So I said, okay, that's twice. <laughs> okay. But by my looking at Apostle here, Apostle Sergio, I think Apostle Sergio might eat more than once. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, are you still there? Let me give you number seven. We're going to.